Hi friends, welcome to Ansible and Ansible Playbooks for Automation and we are from VR Technologies. First, let me go with introduction to Ansible. See, Ansible is an open source command line IT automation tool written in Python. We can use Ansible in different areas in IT automation. They are like, let's say you want to configure systems like, suppose you want to create DB admin user across all servers in your new DB project setup. Then there you can take the help of Ansible. And assume that you need to open a port on all your hundreds of servers for a new application. Then there also you can take the help of Ansible. And next one is to deploy softwares or applications. See, suppose you want to install NC command across all your hundreds or thousands of servers where you can take the help of Ansible. And let's say, suppose if you want to install web server on your multiple servers, yes, we can do that with Ansible. Then to update systems or to apply patches. See on your existing environment, sometimes you may need updates or sometimes you may need to apply patches on your multiple servers. Yes, we can do that with Ansible. And we can also do provisioning using Ansible. I mean like provisioning the servers. But we don't consider Ansible in this area because to provision your servers from VMware or from any cloud, there is a best tool called Terraform. See, generally, most of the cases, people used to call Ansible is a configuration management tool because most of the times we will use Ansible to configure your systems. And Ansible follows push model and agentless architecture. We will see that in our course. See, we can use Ansible in two ways to work with your environment. They are First one is with Ansible CLI commands. They are also called as Ansible ad hoc commands and Ansible playbooks. Basically, they are written in simple ML files. So you can assume that this is like your shell scripting or Python scripting, but it is not that much tough. It is very simple. And be clear, either Ansible CLI commands or playbooks are done with modules only. So finally, what we need to know to work with Ansible. So first thing is how to install and configure Ansible then how Ansible works and how to run Ansible ad hoc commands or Ansible CLI commands where you will come to know about what is a module and then you have to know how to develop playbooks. So while developing playbooks, you will come to know all these concepts. Now, what are the prerequisites to continue with this course? You must know how to provision servers using VMware or from any cloud because to practice with Ansible, you need at least two servers. Then you should have knowledge on Unix or Linux environment. I mean, basic commands, usage of VI or VIM commands to create a file and what is SSH connection with remote servers and what is the difference between passwordless and password authentication with your remote servers and basic knowledge on any programming or scripting language. But it is not mandatory. Suppose if you have at least basic knowledge on any programming or scripting language, then you can easily understand how to develop playbooks. Suppose if you don't know, then it may take some time to understand playbooks. And it's good if you have knowledge on Python because Ansible is developed with Python. And finally, this is optional. You need shell scripting or Python scripting if you want to develop your own modules or collections. Basically, even in real time, most of the cases we will use community collections or modules. And who can enroll this course? See, any IT employee who wants to work with Unix or Linux environment using Ansible, they can enroll this course. And be clear, Ansible is also used to work with Windows. But here, I'm not going to cover that part because I'm not good at Windows concepts. And one more thing, we are also having UI for Ansible, which is Ansible Tower. This is also not covered here. Okay, thank you.